Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and as you all know that Cognigent is hiring recently and they are hiring for two roles, graduate training and engineer training roles. So many candidates who have completed their uh, assessment from communication round and the aptitude round. So they had a GD round next and like today also some guys uh, have their GD rounds and the GD rounds is happening in small small batches okay together so there it is happening in small batches so there are different different slots they are getting so today also some guys had their GD rounds and so some of them shared their questions with me so uh, in this video I'm going to tell about their live GD experience what was the things they were asked what was the scenario there what type of uh, interactions have been done we're going to discuss about that but before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram group for discussions from the description box link and after subscribing make sure to click on the bell icon because it provides this type of hiring updates onboarding updates uh, exam updates uh, interview and gd updates regularly so make sure to not to miss out on them so let's see what is the gd uh, scenario was there so for their slot there were 20 students okay so 20 students gave their gd together okay there was only one topic given for 20 students to discuss so the topics they were what they have given was technical uh, topics so there was a tech based topic given okay and uh, the timing there was given was only 10 minutes so i was also shocked hearing this because 20 students if they are uh, getting 10 minutes so only 30 seconds uh, people will get even if they are saying in an organized manner but that will not happen so everyone will overlap each other so only like 15 to 20 seconds they will get if everyone wants to speak so that will not happen so everyone is not going to get to speak and there will be some issues but that was not going to be any problem because the instructor who was there they mentioned to them that it won't be any problem if not all of you can speak they will take one-on-one -on -one interactions to all the candidates after the GD is done. So for 10 minutes, uh, the 20 students uh, spoke amongst themselves regarding the GD topic. The topic they were getting was uh, future of cryptocurrency. Okay, so the topic they got the future of cryptocurrency, not everyone is going to get same topic. It will uh, depend on batch to batch and instructor to instructor. So the main thing is not about your knowledge here. Okay, they don't want to see how much you know about cryptocurrency they want to see how well you can speak about the topic how fluently you can speak english how confidently without mistakes you can speak english okay so don't uh, get scared by seeking the topic name they don't want to see if you have good knowledge in cryptocurrency or not okay that's not their intention here they want to see how good you can speak so if you don't have any knowledge about any given topic just wait for few students to speak up get points from their uh, sayings whatever they are saying get some points from that and speak that same thing in your own language okay even uh, eventually you are not going to get very much time to speak so uh, it will get only short times to speak so that will only help you if you don't have any idea about the topic because eventually after that they are going to take one-on-one -on -one evaluation so if you are getting uh, any favorable topic or even if you are not getting any favorable topic uh, try to get points from others and try to speak at least two three lines about the particular topic that's it and after that there was one on one evaluation to all the candidates so the instructor uh, does some communication with all the candidates and the uh, questions uh, he or she asked was basic uh, like communication type they were like just uh, talking to a friend like that so their basic introduction type questions were there so first like uh, basic introduction then they asked like where are you from uh, which city you live uh, tell me what uh, things you like about your city tell me one special thing about your city like that okay and like if you have done any recent trips or not so where did you went to see so these basic questions the questions might vary they might ask what your favorite book you recently read what is your hobby they might ask so you are saying my hobby is watching movies so what recent movie you watched and what you like about it this type of anything can happen okay the main thing is not about knowing the knowledge the main thing is they are checking your communication skill english speaking skill fluency uh, if you are stammering or not and if you are uh, speaking correctly uh, or keep skipping uh, speaking fluently or not these things they are going to check okay so that's the gd experience uh, so if any of you also have recently done gd and want to share your topics and experience, make sure to comment down so that others can get help.